And we've reached uh, another women's doubles match. Matsuyama and Shida of Japan against Li and Teng of Chinese Taipei. So there's the draw for the women's doubles. You can see just starting to take shape. We watched that match, didn't we, between uh, Iwanaga and uh, Nakanishi and uh, Fruergaard and Tuerson, so they're safely through. And they'll play the winners of this one. Never met before these two pairs. Japanese will start warmish favourites. They are the seventh seed. Seeds, and there they are. They spent um, the best part of uh, 2023 at number two in the world, actually. And I was surprised when I saw them at, um, I think it was Singapore, they were number two seed, and I was looking at them as number 11 in the world at the time. I couldn't, I couldn't work out why, but they suddenly dipped, suddenly dropped out of the rankings, maybe some injury or didn't play a couple of tournaments. But uh, hugely, uh, yeah, hugely uh, qualified, if you like. She's got a terrific racket. Lee Chia Sin at the front. Oh, well, we're looking at the Japanese again now, but of the um, Taipei pair. See her playing mixed more often. It'd be nice for me to see. I don't see her playing women's doubles all that often. It'd be nice to, to watch this today. So, confirmation that this is the first time these uh, women have met. So let's give us information then about this quartet, starting with the Japanese pair, Nami Matsuyama, 25 now. They've been together as a pair for four years, these two. And they've got 10 World Tour titles on the mantelpiece. This year they've won the Indian Open, which is Super 750, and they won the Canadian Open as well, an S500. I think their biggest career win, probably the All England, which they took down last year. And you can see, as Bobby was saying, on that uh, graphic, they have been up at two in the world. No need for them to play a first-round match. They've got a bye. And on the other side of the net, this is uh, Li Chia Shin. 26 years of age. They're pretty much at their highest ranking, not quite. She actually won a youth Olympic silver medal in mixed doubles. <laughs> Teng there, who is 22, so four years younger than her partner. They did win three international events last year in Slovakia, Austria, and also in Australia. 
came through easily enough against the Ukrainians Stolyarenko and Zarka in just over half an hour in their first match. Men in charge. Emmanuel Hebatsile of Botswana. And Kamasha Robertson Martins of Belgium will be the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Shanxing and Chen Chunjong, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Nami Matsumaya and Chahiru Shida, Japan. Li Shanxing to serve to Chiharu Shida, love all, play. So here we go then for this uh, women's doubles. Service over, one, love. Well, I think Hi. fair to say that the Matsuyama Shida pairing, they don't specialize in uh, long rallies, it's not their preference. I heard what you said earlier, Bobby, mm. about you know, the way no. that women's doubles has kind of evolved in the last decade or so, and they're a pretty good example of it. They, they like short, sharp rallies. Doesn't mean it always pans out that way, but that's their preference. Yeah, they look for the attack at um, that sort of shot, for example. It's so much easier to let it come to you and just go back over the top and defend, but she'd step forward and try and find a way to get the shuttle going down over the net. And they were so effective at it throughout a lot of 2022 and early stages of this year. Service over, one, three. I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on um, Tang Junxun today. Yeah, this lady. She's the not only the youngest out there, but probably the least experienced as well, with um, Li Chia Sin playing so much mixed doubles yeah. and at a good level. Five, one. a bit of a flyer here the Japanese no surprise that Lee and Tang are taking a little while to settle against the, the world rank number seventh pair
Well, it's good work from the back of the court from Teng. And they have their supporters here, as you can see. Service over seven, two. Eight, four. Service over three, seven. Eight, eight. Those home supporters might uh, really help them, actually. They, um, it's one of their biggest performances as a doubles pair was at home, the Chinese Taipei Open. Oh, that's wild. We get to have some cheering Taipei fans in the audience. Three. <laughs> coach, coach looking pretty laid back. Yeah, good challenge, I think. Challenges. Terrific rally for the Japanese. It's all down to Hawkeye. It was called in. Well, I thought it was out. Yeah, and it was a very, very quick challenge, wasn't it? I think it was uh, a lead that was closest to it. See what Hawkeye says. But, yeah, you're right. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if this was wide. Is close, close but out. Correction out. Service over four eight. Play. That's when Hawkeye's great, isn't it? Because I mean, you wouldn't blame any line judge for getting that one wrong. Five eight. And it was played from just over the net as well, so the time between the shot and it hitting the floor is very small, which doesn't give the, the line judge much time to read the trajectory, if you like. Service over, nine, five. So a handy lead for Matsuyama and Shida, but really looked in too much trouble so far. You were bang on at the beginning as well, Trevor, with the uh, attacking style. These rallies are not long, are they? Yeah, they, they don't hang around. Eleven five, play. Twelve 
fight. Service over six twelve. Well, that was summarily dismissed by Tank. Service over thirteen. Six. Service over seven thirteen. They're so good at taking the attack and turning it into their own attack. Well, remember, Trevor, that week they had in Canada with you and I both being yeah. there a few months Eight. ago. They, 13. they were up against the five seeds, the, the Ames Hard sisters in the quarters. Eight. Fukushima and Hirota, who are higher seeded now in the women's rankings, they beat them. And then they took out Matsumoto and Nagahara, who again are higher than them as well, their own teammates, in the final. Service over 14 8. We might be looking at uh, a pair that could win this this week. I know Chen and Jia. Strong favourites. Fifteen eight. Long by a big margin. Yeah, we saw uh, Chen and Jia, the top seeds, earlier on today. They were first on court. They look frighteningly good. As always, I don't, I don't think I remember watching a match in uh, recent years where they haven't. Oh, Finn. poor decision. Yeah, it's in by, by a way, that. Nine. 15. She was there as well. She could have um, slapped a forehand on this. Hey. That's superb. Showing the importance of taking the shuttle early. Every shot the Japanese played there was the earliest opportunity they could play it. Service over 17 10. Well, it's certainly been quick so far, only 12 minutes on court. They don't hang around Matsuyama and Shida. And you can see the additional uh, experience they have in some of these rallies. Tang in particular, 
There's just 22. That was her error. A few times where she's been uh, caught in a 50-50 and she's trying to play an aggressive shot, a tight shot. And, uh, and missed. She's looking pretty relaxed, though, still. Which is a good sign. Didn't expect her to miss that. Normally really reliable from that kind of range. Well inside back line, as you can see. Almost mid-court, you could call it, but... Straight into the net. Scoreline kind of is a little closer than the actual way the match has panned out. But it is all about the numbers. I've just got to concentrate here, the Japanese pair. Tremendous. Service over. 19, 14. Shihara Shida was in the net early and going across tank makes it very difficult to defend. That's good from Lichia Sin. That's some of her accomplished uh, mixed doubles coming out. Just thinking the way that they've played in the, the latter part of this opening game, I think they might. Uh, give a better account of themselves in the second game, assuming they win this, uh, the Japanese pair. 16-19. They're not out of this opening game yet, either. Hey. But here are four Seven game points. For Matsuyama and Shida. into a defensive position, the Japanese. That's the longest rally on of the game and it's on game point. Brilliant from Lee. Oh, she's decided to take it off the back line, Tang. Well, they get there 21 16 by a distance, the longest rally of the match. But they were a lot more competitive in the second half of that game than in the first. So I'm not sure that this is going to be quite as straightforward for the Japanese, but they lead by one game to luck. <laughs> Now, 
，让他让他等一下就好。那一样，你脚你拉高，你在手的时候没有，你不要想要马上去反控他，位置先拉出来，球掌握好再去反控。我说你们太小，太小去反控自己反自己失误。那他们他们现在在接方面，他们都是先快，先发力，然后再来入。所以说你们第三排没有，你要先注意他们说这个压力和配合，自己要注意一下。对，那前面在抓没有？压起来是压他，你压压压，去摸掉，去他去把摸掉，一直破坏他们的重心，因为他们喜欢打后，然后打他们就会等，或者打这个往前跟。我说呢，三不是的，他用过来，三判开始都詰められる。あそこも最後みたいにスパスペーススペース。で、できればこうストレートでこう上げて、で自分的にマスオンができれば、こう入ってくるやつとかに対して、あクロスの速いやつでちょっとローテーションぐらい。ここでちょっとケンジとかで作って、ここら辺の内側に入ってくるやつたちはちょっとクロス速いやつだったり、前でこうすぐチェンジ。そんなドライブバックこう大きいショット、強いショットだけにならなくて、すぐパッとチェンジ。もう一度開けようと。コートワン、ティンセケンス。コートワン、ティンセケンス。Second game, love ball, play. Feeder then to serve to get us underway in game two. It's the speed of movement for me, the Japanese pair. They are lightning, both of them. I still think, though, that Li and Tang might give them some issues in this game, especially from that end, that far end. Oh, well, she was looking for it, and I suppose she got it, so you can't blame her for the miss hit. Lovely little touch from Matsuyama. But they've also got great imaginations, both Matsuyama and Shida, around the badminton court. A really vast array of shots that they play. Yeah, into Lee's body. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think the uh, because they get there so early, quicker than most, they've got more time to choose a shot, and it gives them an extra option. Didn't need it this time, just straight through them. Service over. Three, four. Misjudgment. <laughs> Thought that the serve was uh, going to be short. It wasn't. Oh. 
service over. Five, four. Channel of attack from Tank. Five, all. She looks a much better player, Tank, doesn't she, when she's attacking like that. In a few errors early in the match. Yeah, she was caught at that sort of four-court area where it's level with the tape and you've got to play a quality shot and she just wasn't able to keep up with the Japanese. And... To be frank, that's Lee Chia Sin's best role Nami because, you know, she's so accomplished at the mixed doubles and in the forecourt. Challenge? Yes, we have a challenge. <laughs> it was called good. Let's see what Hawkeye has to say about it. Unsuccessful. No problem One with that uh, call at all. Six, five, play. Good. Seven, five. Yeah, I did have a feeling that they would uh, maybe pose a threat in the second game. The intent. And that's exactly what they're doing at the moment. Yeah, Teng's more effective in a, an attack. And they're on that slightly faster end, which the Japanese pair enjoyed in the, uh, in the start because they're so aggressive in attacking. That boded well for them, they could hit through easier. Now it's uh, the pair from Chinese Taipei's turn. Wait. In certain disciplines, you see that they prefer to play into the drift. I think in this one, it's um, that far end that's helping. Service over, six, seven. So quick to see the opportunity there, Shida. It's a real crack on the smash as well, wasn't there, from, uh, I think it was Matsuyama. Yeah, that one. Generate tons of power, both of them. Same again. Big smash. So simple. Weak reply. Easy for the net player.
Curl back in. Ten, seven. Eight, ten. Even Sheeta wasn't getting that back. So they'll go for the mid game break 11 8 in favour of the Japanese. Still within range, the move from Chinese Taipei. Oh, good save from Shida. Thought Lee hit Chia Sen might finish that rally. Wow. There's yeah, great reactions. I, I actually think Lee and Teng were may maybe a touch inhibited in the very early stages of this match. They're you know, playing a pair like Matsuyama and Shida. As it's worn on, they've got, they've settled clearly. They're still underdogs, obviously, especially from one game down, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like a particularly one-sided match, just watching it as a whole now. It did for the first few points. It doesn't, but for me, the pair from Taipei are just a touch slower. And so when they get some initiative, they play one shot and then they don't quite get in early enough to back it up. Whereas the Japanese, they don't need any second invitation. Ooh. I think she's hit uh, she's on the floor here. On the leg, I think. I think it's fine. Yeah. Service over. 10, 12. Anywhere but the eye, to be honest. Doesn't actually yeah. hurt that much. Yeah. Ambitious from Tang going cross from there. She was below the tape. It's easy for the net player. And it's classic Matsuyama, Matsuyama too. Yeah. Look at how low she is. I guess she didn't have a lot of options from there, to be honest. Had to hope for a lucky net cord. And one of the things you saw in that replay, Matsuyama was, was moving e even before the, that shot. <laughs> exactly where it was going. Well, from there, when you're 
Most doubles net shots, you play with the racket head above your hand. You want to get in early and, and chop it. If you're below the net like a singles player playing that shot, there's two options. There's play net or lift. So the front person on the other side can gamble. Just don't have to worry about anything else. So they're back within a point now, William Teng. Well, I'm not sure what that was about. Sheila just seemed to leave that. What happened there? Ah, uh, clip the net. Okay. You could tell though from the from the depth of that little celebration. They know they're in a match here. They know this is, you know, far from a done deal. Yeah, I think they've got uh, just a touch less pace with them, with the drift against them, and their attacks not getting through as easily as it was in the first. I'm still surprised it's level, if I'm honest. I thought the uh, Japanese would be a few points ahead throughout. They make it look easy, big smash, net players really hunting. Hey. What a block. She might celebrate that. 14. Good point coming up here. 16 15, still right there, Teng and Lee. 17 14, you worry for them. Service over 15 16. Short lift from Shida. Ten at the front, though, can't do enough damage. That's how you do it. That's the sort of rally that's winning this match, really, because otherwise it's fairly even. They can just get there a bit quicker, and the front person asserts himself on the rally. Well, looking a little bit bleak now for 15. Lee and Teng. Hey. Hey. Oh. 
Oi. She's in the right place, Lee Chearson. It's been a few occasions today where Lee and Tang have had that opportunity when it's neutral in the forecourt. And they've lost the battle. Five match points. And there it is, 21-15, 38 minutes on court. They just seem to lose the plot a little bit right at the end of that game, Lee and Teng. But uh, it's another impressive display from Matsuyama and Shida, the world number seven ranked pair. And they move through into the next round, and I don't think there are too many pairs that would fancy playing them either. They'd be favourites to progress a little bit further. 21-16, 21-15. 38 minutes, the confirmed match time. Up next, we've got some women's singles. Christofferson versus Tai Zhu Ying in a couple of minutes' time. Welcome back, viewers from all over the world. We're in Copenhagen. There's some terrific scenics of Newhound, one of my favorite places to visit in 